Hey what's up guys my name is Axidroid and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showcasing my new upper mock that I finally have a video for guys. So I'm super happy to finally show this to my YouTube audience. You know I've shown this on Instagram and all that but I can finally show you guys you know with a proper video and also instructions in the description down below. So uh, I know I'm gonna you know, just showcase every little feature every little you know detail of this mock. So First of all, I just give you guys a tour I don't know, of, of the whole body. So we have this left side, then we have the you know, back side, the tail, left side, and the face. So we'll show the face first. You know, so here we have you know, up, up this cute little face. Uh, I know this took a lot of time. So I just wanted to show you guys the mouth. So the mouth opens up, uh, you know, it's on this double hinge technique where, you know, closes down. Still see still a little bit of the teeth, but that's kind of what you need because I need the, the face to be pretty slim. So it does fit fit under there. So the mouth opens nice like that. You could put even a, put a figure there if you want. So also all, the, all of the legs do actually move. That was something quite important for me because if you want to have this in flying, uh, you know, him flying you kind of need it like this so it all you know, goes backwards like that these will also go backwards and then you can actually have him on the stand which I will also show you guys but then the tail can go up I do have to say you have to kind of buy new um, hinge pieces because it's a little bit too heavy but I do have a little technique for that if you uh, want to display this you know for a long time which is in the back you can actually just put a plate over here like this and then it just holds it like that uh, just puts all of the tension away so uh, you know to put the stand on you put it on the side and here is the stand I actually put a little sticker on there but this is also included with the instructions in the description down below so you just put it down on here just like that and then you pull it back up and here we have it on the stand, super strong for some reason, because I think because there's a little bit of, uh, you know, pieces that can move here with the Technic pins, it gives it a lot of, you know, strength, you know, on the bottom, you know, the, the point of gravity is very low in, on this mock, which is very useful for having something, you know, as a flying, uh, you know, flying key creature on the stand. So, you know, uh, with the mouth open again, it looks like this, but I think, you know, I'll be displaying it mostly like this. You know in the flying mode it's just so iconic with the tail backwards uh, so that's pretty much it for you know the body of apple will actually show you guys the top side and uh you know with, uh, with the saddle and all the characters on it so here we are on the top side of appa you know i'm really happy with the the sloping here on here and you know, trying to make it very organic you know it's a fur ball basically so getting that with you know straight edges of lego is pretty hard but i'm pretty happy with how it you know how everything sorted out and all the organic looking features so i kind of actually busted the plate down there but the most important thing with the saddle for me was that it actually fit the figures i've seen some some models and i think you know most of the uh, most of them they fit two characters but it's also small scales up so it makes sense but i was uh, you know it was important for me to get all the main characters in there because you know that's that's you know uh, what you see mostly mostly you see the tree in the saddle but and I want to add Suko in there as well. And you do maybe notice these figures. So these figures are from minifix.me. And I actually managed to have a you know collaboration with them. If you buy the instructions, you actually get a discount on them on their website. And uh, you know, I think that's just great because if you buy this APA, you kind of need the characters on with it as well. For um, this, this Ang, for example, is the official one customized. So it's not, they also have one on their website as well. So definitely go down below and uh, you know, purchase the um, instructions and you'll get all of these little extra things with it as well. Uh, also, this is a very cool technique I managed to do, which is our, the sleeping bags with a cloth around it and the elastic bands. I think that looks really nice and just fits on right there. And lastly, I want to just... Uh, Hold this by the stand and show you how actually swooshable it is. So it really, it really moves nicely like this. Uh, to remove the stand, I actually just put it on the side. I use my thumb as a leverage against the leg and then just pop it out right there. Then we just put them back with straight legs. And actually, you know, bot the bottom also has a lot of detail. You just want to have detail from every side. 
So one last look at Alpha guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this model as well. I'm super happy with it. It's probably my favorite mock I've made so far. So if you are interested in buying instructions, they are uh, in the description. They're available on rebrickable.com. I know a lot of you guys have seen it before on Instagram as, uh, as well, but for the people on YouTube, here it is guys. I'm very happy to show you, okay, showcase this mock. This is probably my favorite mock I made so far. So I'm very happy I was able to make it. And actually I also have all of the features in it. I was gonna have a ro rotating uh, head that would make a massive gap down here and it was also pretty heavy so that was not really possible but i'm super happy with this mock also you know one extra thing i've uh, included two wallpapers um <laughs> with the instructions as well so you can have that on your desktop you know pretty nice to have so that's it for this mock guys so th tell me in the comments what you guys think of appa uh, do should i make a mock with appa in it maybe a location i think that would be pretty cool uh, you know maybe recommend one of the locations in the comments that would be very helpful so one last look uh, at appa from all the angles also you know very swooshable as you can see it's quite heavy actually that's the plate that was holding up the tension um you know down there so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video